So let's look at uh, these two examples. I'll do example 3a. We'll, we'll do it together and then um, you can press pause and try this one. So 3a, we're going to um, try to simplify this uh, fraction here. So the trick is to figure out what the top is and then figure out what the bottom is and then divide at the end, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write out this top all over again and simplify that all by itself on one side of the page. And just do it step by step and, and try not to make a mistake. So again using PEMDAS word of operations we've got to do parentheses first. So we've got square brackets here and inside the square brackets so you come to the square brackets and we've got to figure out everything inside here first but inside here of course you've got these small parentheses here these regular parentheses and that's in so we've got to figure out that first right so 7 minus 11 7 minus 11. And you can change the subtract sign to plus negative if you want. Now it says 7 plus negative 11. 7 positives, 11 negatives. Put them together, what do you get? Negative 4, right? So once you've done that, best thing to do is just write out the whole thing all over again and just do it step by step. So we're just going to write out everything all over again okay, and have a look at it. So we still haven't done all the parentheses because we don't have these square brackets figured out yet. right? So we've got to do negative 4 minus 12 in the square brackets. Notice that that's subtraction not multiplication okay? because it's a subtract sign in between the two numbers. So what do we get in the square brackets? So subtract can be changed to plus negative. Now it says negative 4 plus negative 12. 4 bad guys plus 12 bad guys, what's that? Negative 16, right? Then write out the problem all over again. You've got a minus here and a 4 here. Now it says 4 minus negative 16. Okay. What do you do when you see minus minus? Double negative. You can change that to plus plus, right? So 4 plus positive 16, 20. So we wrote out the top of the fraction, we took it step by step, took our time, and finally got 20. Write that in there, and that's the best way to do it. it just, just don't make a mistake and you'll be right in the end. So now let's simplify the bottom of the fraction. Negative 1 minus 1 minus 8. We can change the subtractions to plus negative if we want. Plus negative. See that? Now it says negative 1 plus negative 1 plus negative 8, right? So one bad guy, another bad guy, and then another bad guy. What's that? So that would be 2 negatives plus 8 more negatives. That would be 10 negatives altogether, right? Negative 10. So we have 20 over negative 10. Can you put that in lowest terms? Ten into ten goes once, ten into twenty goes two times, so we have two over negative one. Right? We have two over negative one. That's a negative fraction, put the negative in line with the fraction bar, and that's two over one. And can you write that simpler again? What's two over one? Or negative two over one is the same thing as negative. 
two, right? So let's see if you can write down example 3b. Write it down and figure it out all by yourself and then check the video and I'll walk through it if you need help. <laughs> okay, so press pause, write down the um, example and do it yourself and then check the video if you need help. Okay, I'm going to walk through it now. hope you press, press pause and tried it. So again, we write out the top somewhere. I'm going to write out the top here. 11 minus square bracket 1 minus 4 minus 1. Okay. And inside so I go to parentheses first and inside that parenthesis I have this inside that square bracket I have this parenthesis. They're about the same thing, just different types of parentheses. You've got 1 minus 4, right? What does that make? <coughs> 1 plus negative 4 1 positive 4 negatives, negative 3, right? Then just write out the whole thing again. Now, inside the square bracket, negative 1, negative 3, minus 1. Change the subtraction to plus negative. So negative 3 plus negative 1, which is negative 4, right? Write out the whole thing again. 11 minus negative 4. What do you do with a negative negative? eleven dollars in your bank account cancel a bill of four dollars now you have fifteen so negative negative change that to plus plus eleven and four fifteen so so far with the fraction we have fifteen on the top Okay. now we'll simplify the bottom we've got negative twelve minus nine minus nine can change subtraction to plus negative. Okay, that's 12 negatives plus 9 negatives plus 9 negatives, right? So I'm going to add these two together. 12 plus 9 is 21. So that's negative 21 plus another negative 9. So 21 negatives plus 9 negatives. How many negatives is that? 30 negatives, right? Negative 30. So we've got 15 over negative 30. Now can you put the fraction in lowest terms? 15 into 15 goes once, 15 into 30 goes twice. We have 1 over negative 2, right? I'm just going to write this out twice just so you can see this again, but if you have 1 over negative 2, that's a positive over negative. So that's a negative number or a negative fraction. You can put you're supposed to put the negative in line with the fraction bar and write that as one over two. Okay? Negative one half, right? And pretty sure we went over that before. <laughs>